Well, if you've been out and about today, it, it's got that feel to it. It's, it's warm, it's humid, it's sticky, it's muggy, whatever you want to call it, and could brew up some trouble as we head into this evening, especially later on tonight. We're going to be looking at the hour-by-hour -hour forecast here. Temps dropping down eventually into the upper 50s, low 60s. Here's the interesting part about the lows tonight. Hovering around 60, we may drop a little cooler than that during the morning hours tomorrow as more rainfall is expected to move through. But we're watching storms for tonight. We're watching storm potential for tomorrow, especially in the eastern part of the state. And then looking ahead to the weekend, the Memorial weekend. Right now it's looking pretty average, pretty normal actually, which is kind of weird. Uh, look at some of the rainfall totals that we had yesterday. There was some really good rain that moved through. Holdridge picked up about an inch. Kearney just shy of that. We had reports of Loomis at around 6,800s. Yeah, a lot of areas picked up a half an inch or more of rainfall. Not a lot in the way of severe weather, which was certainly good. You know, Palmer picked up about a half an inch in Aurora at 4,400s. But we do have the concern for what could be some locally heavy rainfall tonight. We have a flood watch that's been posted, runs right through west central, central, and northeastern Nebraska, ending at various times as the rain will end at various times in these areas. But as I mentioned, we do have a tornado watch that was just put out and that is for Dundee County that will run till 11 o'clock mountain time as we are tracking not just the threat of heavy rainfall tonight, but also the threat of severe weather and enhanced risk for really we're talking about Kearney westward and that's a three out of a five on the threat level. Slight risk as you go off to the east. Large hail, damaging winds, and yes, even tornadoes are not going to be out of the question. Then we get into tomorrow and it's a slight risk from, you know, we'll call it Highway 281 eastward. So we just kind of see that severe weather threat shift its way eastward. As we look at our future cast, few things to point out. We may see some thunderstorms try to get going here in central areas, seven, eight, nine o'clock. And there certainly would be potential for those to become severe. The main show, if you want to put it that way, comes in out west more towards that 10 o'clock time frame and then works its way eastward as we go through the overnight hours. We may be talking about a line of storms rolling through central areas that could produce damaging wind gusts well into the nighttime hours. Couple of questions as to the exact placement of where the heaviest rain and the most significant thunderstorm activity ends up. A lot of models are really targeting kind of northern half of the state for the best overall shot at rainfall, but we certainly have to watch things as they develop here in central areas. Then we get another push of thunderstorms that comes in tomorrow late morning into the afternoon hours. That's at least going to have a little potential to become severe. Still some lingering showers tomorrow night before things clear out as we head into your Wednesday. So a little complicated with the forecast tonight, that's for sure. Temps out there right now, how about 77 in Grand Island, 75 out in Ogallala. Same in Kearney. And you look at the moisture, the dew points. Anytime they're above 60, you start to notice it. We got dew points in the mid 60s. Yeah, it's muggy, like I said, and that could brew up some trouble tonight. We'll keep you, we'll keep you posted. 58 for the low tonight in the Tri Cities. We're going to watch for those storms to roll through. And again, this could be an overnight event for a lot of us. 66, that's it tomorrow. Lingering showers and thunderstorms tomorrow night. You're going to be looking at around 47 for the low there as the rain chances move out. Low temps tonight in the 50s and 60s. A lot of us tomorrow, we're going to struggle. Not going to climb all that much with lingering showers and thunderstorms, but then well, we bounce back pretty quickly. 80 by Thursday. Another decent shot at storms Thursday night. And then heading into your Memorial weekend, as I said, it's kind of average, which usually doesn't seem to be the case. Well, it's either right. one way or the other. So hopefully we can enjoy.